Deal. Hit. Action. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am today. We were in a podcast. Oh, we were. I know. It came out this week and I have put a little link on Instagram for you all. Yes. Um, where we had a little chat with the lovely Alana. Hello, Alana, Hi, if you're Alana. watching. Hi. Yeah. Thank you so much for including us. Yes. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was good fun. It was funny. I was driving to work listening and going, it was really weird listening to myself it is a bit driving weird. to work. It's, it's just like, but I got engrossed in it. Like, I was yeah. interested to hear it again. Yeah, it was. It was a really good story. I liked it. I thought, I thought <laughs> so. So go check that out, guys. Yeah, There's a link out. on our Instagram page. There's a lovely photo of Tracy and Alana with microphones mm-hmm. in front of them. And if you go to the description of that, you'll be able to find the link. I might even put it down here in the comments of this video yeah. as well. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was good. Yeah. And she's got a lot of uh, uh, other podcasts uh, all about women mm, in this area. In this area. Is lovely. Yes. Yes. It was nice. It was and speaking good. of women, today's question has a little bit to do with women. Does it? It does, unfortunately, okay. but it does. Okay. okay. So we have had a question from Marguerite. Hello. Hi, how Marguerite. are you? Hello. And Marguerite has asked, what do you happen if a pregnant woman dies? Do you remove the baby? Okay. Yeah. And just to tag on the end of that, we've also had a comment from, I think it's Michelle. It's not spelt traditionally as Michelle, but from Michelle, I think. Um, to say that you're not supposed to bury a woman with a baby inside her and you can take the baby out and place the baby between the woman's legs when she's buried. So I think we'll speak to that as well, if that's okay with you. Mm. Uh, But we'll start off with Marguerite's question. And, um, yeah, what do you do if a pregnant lady comes in, Tracy? Well, (laughs) one, a lot of the times I wouldn't know if anybody was pregnant. You know, that I wouldn't find that information out, especially if it's um, only a few months, you know. I wouldn't have a clue unless informed by family or anybody. But uh, um, so sometimes people like may... It's not on the it's, form it's, that no, you no, get? No, or, no, no, no. And, you know, it depends what's happened to the person that's passed away. Yeah. So say um, a lady was palliative care and expected to die and they died, but, you know, we don't know, or maybe they don't even know, or if they do... I don't know if the family's decided to leave the baby in situ and not, you know, do anything. But one, I, I would never know if a person, if a, a lady was pregnant, unless Two, she was obviously full term. Yeah, obviously. Much. But um, if there's been an accident of some kind, or uh, anything, or death in childbirth, and things like that, there'll be an autopsy, and also the pathologist would remove the baby. Right. You know, mm-hmm. and send the baby with mother to the funeral home after all the, the investigation's been done. And I think the big point to make here is that the pathologist is a doctor. Yes. Tracy is not. Yeah, and they're surgeons, doctors, yeah. I'm not. And I would never open somebody up to remove anything uh, such as a baby. Apart because from apart from like surface things like the... the pacemakers, pacemakers, anything and... that's got batteries that are yeah. just under the skin, things like that. And we have also, uh, talking about surgery and stuff like that, we also have families ask for half valves back because they're made of titanium. Well, half valves are set deep inside your heart. I'm not a heart surgeon. I can't go in there and remove the heart and find the valve and get that little valve out. I am not a, you know, I am not a surgeon. So if the family wanted to request anything like that, it would have to be done in hospital prior to the person coming to us. So I have never removed babies. I, um, I would not know half the time if a woman was pregnant. And if the babies mostly do get removed, it's by the pathologist during an autopsy and not by me. So, yeah, there you that's go. That answers reason. your question. Yeah. And as far as the second part of that, that you shouldn't... Do you, have you ever heard that you shouldn't bury never. a baby? That might be a religious uh, thing, I'm not I sure. No, I've never um, heard that before. I've never heard that either. I mean, never. there's no different. The baby will be dead as well. Yeah, I, I've never heard that before. And like I say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't remove... If a, a woman came in or pregnant and it was, you know, we were told that they were pregnant, I would still not remove that baby. I would leave the baby. I would not... Because I'm having to do surgery, surgery and open like up... Like a Caesar... And I don't, I wouldn't know, yeah, okay, 
you know, I know how to put everybody back together when they've been opened by the pathologist, but I am not going to be the one that makes the incisions to open them up to. No, and I mean, there's all sorts that. of things at play there. How deep do you cut? You cut the baby. Like, you, yeah, it's, it's just, just not, not something nice. that ever comes up. Yeah, so, and I've never had been in a situation like that, really. So, I, yeah, if babies have been removed, it's by a surgeon, not by me. <laughs> But it's so, a good yeah. question. It is it's an interesting question. question. It is. It's very interesting. But I've never heard that before. No. You know, so, yeah, so no, I would never do that. Yeah. Have so. you had many pregnant women come through? No, no, not really. That you've not, known of? not that I've known of. Not that's been obviously pregnant. You know, I, I have known of uh, people finding out that they're pregnant, you know, only weeks found out yeah. and they've died palliatively or in yeah. accidents and things like that. And the baby's never, you know, the baby's still in situ. But... Um, it's, yeah, no, I've never had a pregnant, as in, mm, you know, term. full term, yeah. uh, pregnant lady. So, yeah. There you go. Yes. Hope that answers that question for you. Thanks, Trace. Thank you. Thanks for the questions. Yes. Uh, if you've got any other questions, let us know. We yes. might actually, just thinking about it on the hop, yeah. we might organise a live stream. Oh, yeah. We haven't done what one. What you think? Already. Yeah, we do need to organise a one. We'll plan a date. Yeah, we um, might put pop that. It in. Yeah, we'll put that in the posts on YouTube so yeah. you guys can see. Yeah. I think it's time. It's yeah. been a while. It's, it's been, been a couple a of months. It has, so we'll have to schedule in the early morning. It's early for us, so yeah. it can be a decent time for all of you. Yay. So there you yeah, go. We're so thinking watch of you. We do all the time. <laughs> all right, guys. Till next time. Take care. See ya. Bye bye. bye.